Right, what I've got on the bench here is CVT bolts out of Polaris Razor 570. These are the belts I use, Deco XTX 2254s. The Deco's Extreme Torque Belts. And I've had a lot of luck with them. There's a brand new one on the bench here and a belt that's actually done over 2,000 miles. The use belt went on the Polaris at 800 miles and the Polaris has now got 3,100 on it. So the belt's done 2,300 miles. It's had a hard life. I've changed the belt. More out of... Not necessity. It's the fact that I smoked this belt the other weekend out on a ride. I smoked it twice. And... I was a bit worried that it was about to just break apart. I was actually quite surprised when I took it off what good condition it was in. But what interests me now is I, I want to check the width of the belt against the width of a belt of a new belt. Uh, this new one is my spare belt that I keep in the workshop and I've replaced the used belt like for like with another one of these Deco belts so I just want to see how much wear this belt has taken considering it's been on for over 2,300 miles and the fact it's been smoked twice on the same day I will admit it's not the first time it's been smoked but never to the same extent I smoked it the other week. So I'm going to get the vernier. I've got a more and right digital vernier somewhere. I'm going to find it. And I'm going to measure them and see what we get. Right, the number you see on the vernier there is 29.74.75 on a used belt, right at its widest point. So that's a used belt with 2,300 miles on it. Let's see what we get on a new belt. Let's just throw that one on the bonnet and do the same measurements on the new belt. So let's set the vernier up again. This is a new belt. I get 29.9394 So as you can see I've probably only lost 10th hour of life off that belt quarter of a millimetre That's a brand spanking new belt This is a used one. You can still read the writing on it. There is a quite a shiny finish to the edge of the belt on both sides, but there's no chunks missing out of it. I'd actually be happy to chuck that in the Polaris now and keep it as a spare belt. And that's the edge of the new belt. Again, there's the writing. So, 
I'm quite impressed with how this belt has stood up to the test of time and a lot of trail riding, a lot of towing of trailers, a lot of dragging of trees and a lot of abuse. So I would say if you're looking for a belt that will stand the test of time and the abuse I'd go hunting for one of these. For me it's been a very very good belt. I paid 58 British pounds for this new belt which is the cheapest I've ever found one but the last one I paid 75 British pounds for. So yeah they're, they're a good value if they're gonna last that amount of time they're worth the money.